Today we'll be talking about rogam. Why is rogam given to pregnant women? Rogam is given to pregnant women to prevent complications with the fetus of future pregnancies. Can you break that down for the students, please? Sure. When a woman becomes pregnant, her blood type is tested. If she's RH negative, she would be given rogam. But if she's RH positive, no further action is necessary. A RH negative pregnant woman does not develop antibodies to the RH antigen because she does not have the RH antigen. However, if her blood becomes mixed with RH positive blood or if she gets transfusion with RH positive blood, she will develop antibodies. When the pregnant woman be develops antibodies, she is described as being sensitized. Now, if the pregnant woman is RH negative and is given rogam, the rogam will block her from developing antibodies and the next time she becomes pregnant, the fetus would be safe. I don't get it. What does the fetus have to do with the rogam? If the fetus of the next pregnancy is RH negative, then there will be no problem. What if the fetus of the next pregnancy is RH positive? There are two ways to look at that. First, if the mother is RH negative, there will be no problem because she would have been given rogam to block antibody production. But if the mother is RH positive and is sensitized, her antibodies will see the RH positive fetus as a foreign body and attack it. So let me see if I get this. Rogam is given to the pregnant woman in her current pregnancy to block antibody production in the next pregnancy. That's correct. Keep in mind, Rogam has no effect if she's already RH positive and is sensitized. That would definitely put the RH positive baby at risk. It seems like the, the RH factor is an antigen. That's correct. And antibodies like to attack antigen. When should rogam be given to the pregnant woman? If the mother is RH negative and has not formed antibodies, then it should be on the 28th week of pregnancy and again within 72 hours after delivery. Two other questions. What is the dose of rogam and what complications occur when an RH positive fetus and the sensitized mother interact? Rogam is an immunoglobulin that can be given at 300 mics, whether IV or intramuscularly. Complications include brain damage and eye drops fetalis. So what happens when an RH positive pregnant woman is transfused with RH positive blood? That's a good question. Because she's RH positive, she's likely to be sensitized. RH positive blood transfusion will therefore cause a severe reaction. Pierre McCulloch, would you like to summarize this for the students? Well, thanks for your questions. 
and I hope it was made clear for you. So let's summarize. First, Rogam is an injectable solution that prevents the production of antibodies. Secondly, it is given to pregnant females in their current pregnancy to protect the fetus of future pregnancies, but only if they are Rh negative. Thirdly, it is not given to Rh positive pregnant women who are already sensitized. Fourthly, if a Rh positive pregnant woman receives Rh positive blood transfusion, there will be a serious reaction. Fifthly, Rogam should be given at 28 weeks of gestation and again within 72 hours of delivery. Thanks for clearing up Rogam for us. It is my pleasure and thanks for the opportunity to share. I wish you well. Good night.